There he is. Oh lord, does he look strong, I think to myself as I make eye contact with my opponent from across the arena. He is of large build, and I can tell his body is mostly muscle. His squire, a scrawny kid with hungry eyes, begins handing him his padding, and my adversary seems unfazed by the weight of his garb. As I look down at my faithful squire, Thomas, he gives me a reassuring look. Though he is just a squire, I care deeply for him and I am thankful to have him. He has been with me in every fight I've ever participated in, and without him, I know my nerves would get the best of me. Knights are supposed to be fearless, but lately, fighting always pumps nervous feelings throughout my body. Thomas begins patting me down in dense clothing. The layers of cotton wear down my body and make it hard for me to move. If I could only fight without them, I know I would do better, but without them, I would surely die. So I accept them and dress myself head to toe in heavy fabric. Next comes the metal protection. Attached metal rings band together to form a dense shirt that weighs close to 60 pounds. I lose an inch or two in stature every time Thomas rests this particular garment upon my shoulders. I dread it the most out of all my battle attire. Finally comes the accessories, my boots, gloves, helmet, and most importantly, my sword. As Thomas slips my limbs into the fittings, I look across the way at my opponent again. He seems confident and as tall as mus and muscular as I have ever seen him. Okay, my lord, says Thomas. Remember who you're facing. This is Sir Godric Stapleton of London. He is undefeated this season and has left two men dead in the arena. From what I see, he is weaker on his left side. See there, the muscles on his right are stronger. Thank you, Thomas. I am especially nervous about this one. He is a stronger opponent than I am. I can fight in Thomas. No worries, my lord. The crowd loves an underdog. Yeah, sure, I think to myself. These people are he here to see someone get beaten beyond an inch of their life. Death is the newest sporting grave. Blood excites them more than I could ever understand. It's sick to me. I am a knight because it's all I know. It used to be all about the sporting, but now... I do it because I have to. Okay, my lord. Ready, question Thomas? Ready as I'll ever be, my boy. Right, men. Get ready, screams the official. Thomas hands me my sword, and I walk to the center of the fighting pen. Looking around, I can see all the eager spectators' faces. On my count. Three, two, one, go. The next few seconds are a blur. All I remember is he grabbed me and wrestled me to the ground. I tried to fend him off, but he was much stronger and much more capable. When I open my eyes, I see his eyes. They are cold and cruel. I feel a severe pain in my side and find that he has rammed me with his sword. The intertwined rings that were neatly organized before the fight were now scattered about the arena floor. Struggling, I scramble to my feet and regain my composure. He lunges at me again, but I dodge him at the last minute. The crowd is screaming, but before I can figure out what they are saying, my opponent recovers and trips me from behind. Again, I am on my back, looking at his icy eyes. I close mine and roll over. Stammering up, I grab my sword and swing at him clumsily. He stirs, but barely moves, before he returns the blow. I am knocked off my feet and slammed against the side of the arena. Breathing heavily and choking on blood, I hear a small sound. I glance at my adversary. He seems to be catching his breath and wooing the crowd as I'm down. I turn around and find myself face to face with a small girl. How she got there, I do not know, but between the ropes, our faces are only inches away from each other. Courage, she whispers, as she hands me a skimpy piece of embroidered fabric. I look down at it, struggling to see the needlework. Suddenly, I realize it's my coat of arms. I look back up, searching for the little girl's gaze, but she's already disappeared. Snap out of my daze and finally comprehend what the crowd is shouting. Finish him. Finish him, they shriek. A sudden surge of energy rushes through my body, replacing the nerves I once felt. I take a breath and stand again. With the material in my hand, I lift my sword above my head and go in for a final blow. 
The sword collides with my rival's helmet and sends out a hollow noise. My opponent stumbles a few steps, then falls to his knees. He rests there for a few seconds and then slumps to the ground. I look back down at the fabric in my hand. I wish I could find the little girl. Thank her for helping me remember the strength inside me. But she is gone, and I am back.